Hey guys, wagwan wagwan, what's good? It's your girl Shanice and I'm so excited to welcome you guys back into my kitchen so that we can chef it up another week. If you're new, welcome, welcome and thank you so much for watching. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make the easiest stuffed chicken breast with spinach, cream cheese and any other cheeses of your choice. Before we get into it guys, please remember to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of these amazing recipes each week. Let's get right into it. Okay, so as you guys can see, I'm working with four pieces of chicken breast that I had already washed and cleaned. And I'm just going to go ahead and make some butterfly cuts. And this is where we're going to put our filling. You don't want to make the cuts too deep, but deep enough so that you can have enough filling added into it. So once we do that to all the pieces, we're going to come back and season these babies. Guys, I cannot get over how beautiful these chicken pieces are looking. You can tell that once they're done cooking, they're going to be so juicy. Wow. So I'm going to go ahead and add some avocado oil to my chicken pieces and then we're going to season it. Um, the oil here is just to add moisture to the chicken and just to ensure that the seasonings will be evenly spread out through every single part of the chicken. So now we're going to add all our seasonings to a bowl and mix it together and then we're going to add it to the chicken. So I'm going to go in with a tablespoon of garlic powder followed by a tablespoon of Cajun seasoning. I'm also going to add a teaspoon of everything seasoning and this is like an all-purpose seasoning. It's really optional but I like using it. And we're also going to add two tablespoons of black pepper followed by a teaspoon of paprika. This is going to give it a really good color and also a little bit of kick. And we're also going to add a pinch of salt to that and just mix it in really well. So we're going to go ahead and season these chicken pieces. You want to make sure that you season all over inside as well. We want to make sure that this has flavor right through. Guys, put a gloves on if you have to. Listen, we're not having no unflavored chicken around here. The good thing about chicken breast is you really don't have to do much to it. So use whatever seasonings you have. You don't have to use everything that I used. If you have salt, pepper, a little garlic powder, whatever, go ahead and season it. Once you're finished doing that, we're going to come back and then we're going to get working on or filling. So we're going to go ahead and set our chicken to the side, let the seasonings do its thing. And here I have my spinach. I washed it and cut the stems off. You want to make sure that you carefully inspect the leaves individually. You don't want to be eating insects or pesticides, anything like that. And go ahead and cut it up. I know a lot of people use broccoli for their filling. You can if you want to, but I'm using spinach for this recipe. Okay guys, so this is around 7 ounces of spinach that I'm using and to that I'm going to add my cream cheese and for this recipe I'm using 1 cup of cream cheese. I actually added it to the microwave for like 20 seconds or so, 10 seconds, just to let the cheese melt a little bit because it was a little bit too hard. And we're just going to mix that in really well. And guys, I would recommend whatever amount of spinach you're planning on using to add half more to it just to make sure that you have enough. You know when you're cooking spinach, it tends to shrink and then it seems like you don't have enough in the first place. So to this, I'm adding around two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce and then I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of seasoning. I'm adding a teaspoon of garlic powder followed by a teaspoon of this cheese seasoning that I have and this is optional. I'm also adding a teaspoon of this creamy and tangy seasoning. It's sort of like a ranch seasoning. If you have a ranch seasoning, you can go ahead and use it instead. And for my choice of cheese, I'll be using mozzarella. You can use whatever cheese you prefer, whether cheddar cheese, pepper jack, smoked gouda, you name it. So I'm using half of it and this is 16 ounces. So I used 8 ounces of the mozzarella cheese and I added it to the microwave just so it could get a little bit soft and stringy. And then I'm just going to mix it in really well. 
and guys if you're wondering why i use mozzarella cheese it's very soft it melts really good and it has this stretchiness to it that i really love and i think it's just gonna go well with the chicken and you want to make sure that you mix it in really well you want to sort of fold the cheese in you don't want to have some parts of the spinach without cheese and some parts with too much cheese you want to make sure that it's spread out evenly now we're going to go ahead and add our filling to our chicken and we're going to go ahead and use a toothpick or two to secure where it needs to be secured and you can add as much filling as you like or as much as it can take and then i'm gonna go ahead and fry my chicken give it sort of like a sear for like two three minutes on both sides i realized that i really didn't have to do that because it got a little bit too messy so what you can do instead is you can broil it first just to get that nice top and then we're gonna go ahead and bake it in a 350 degrees fahrenheit oven for around 25 to 30 minutes i really didn't regret frying it though because i think it was a little bit more juicier that way and also i think the butter that i used gave it some more flavor uh i went in with a tablespoon of butter by the way and uh, yeah it's really up to you it did get a little messy as you'll see but it's really up to you And I would just say if you do want to fry it, don't add as much filling as I did because once the cheese starts to melt, it's just going to make a mess in the skillet, but we, we handled it. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my chicken on the other side and give it around two minutes just to get some color. Get that nice, ooh, look at that color right there. <laughs> And then once we're finished on both sides, I'm going to transfer them to my casserole dish and we're going to go ahead and bake these babies in my 350 degrees Fahrenheit oven, which is equivalent to around 175 degrees Celsius. And guys, don't worry if you see some parts of the chicken not cooked. Remember, we were just giving it a quick stir. Now we're going to fully cook it in our oven it's about that time this is how we're looking guys we're all finished and this is smelling so good i wish you guys could smell my kitchen right now but just look at how beautiful and delicious this is looking look at the color of the chicken like that paprika everything the quick stir like this is just looking so good guys this came out absolutely perfect i'm gonna have to give you guys a minute to get into this <laughs> but for real fun and joke aside this is looking so good guys you have to try this recipe and you can tell just by looking that these chicken breasts are very juicy when i say juicy right through that's what i mean and the great thing is you can actually have these by itself if you don't have a side you ain't gotta do all of that you can have it by itself because the filling in it is like a side how how wonderful <laughs> but as you can see i served mine up with some gnocchi and some green beans you can do some mashed potatoes some rice some veggies whatever you prefer but i'm really happy with the way this came out and if you enjoyed this video guys go ahead and hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe you really don't want to miss out on all these recipes i'm coming with every week and thank you so much guys for watching for supporting for everything it means so much to me and i'll see you guys next week stay safe